when you begin worshiping him it's the start of a new timeline Holy Ghost of God in the earth today Holy Ghost of God in the earth today the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words my name is Andrew Hemstraw thank you for joining us if this is your first time here make sure you subscribe if this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you then consider becoming a partner with us tonight I'm gonna talk about multiple timelines you see if you do this you end up here if you do that you end up there think if I make life decisions and carry them out I will end up in one place if I make a different set of life decisions and carry them out I will end up in some other place one pathway you might take would take you someplace much quicker and one place you may you may never get there a lot of people are in the you may never get there place most people are trapped in a religious time loop going over and over and over the same thing over and over and over and over and over and over and over again never getting anywhere you see there's nothing that people do trapped in those religious circles that will get them to the place where you're going if you worship the Holy Ghost and until listen and until they begin worshiping him as God they can't get to where you are going worshiping him takes you someplace new someplace different someplace they can't go your timeline is different you see everyone is looking back to the past they're trying to recreate what seemed to work in the past trying to get there trying to get there they're going backwards there is no revival of the past that will take you to the future get that stop looking back you know God in his Bible warns you of this looking back remember lots wife she looked back and turned into a pillar of salt Hebrews 11 15 says and truly if they had been mindful of that country from whence they came out they might have had opportunity to return people are mindful from which they should have come out but they're always trying to go back the past is not your future Luke 4 8 says thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shalt thou serve that's your pathway that's your future now we've come a long way here in this camp knowing who we are what dispensation we're in the dispensation of the Holy Ghost who is God in the earth today how to walk with him and that it's just you and the Holy Ghost me and the Holy Ghost today in the earth walking together we've come a long way to know this we've distilled down so many truths into this one potent powerful true essence of who we are where we are what time we're in and how to do it the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and we walk with him by saying words and if you are willing to go here it's so much easier it's so much cleaner and it's so much more effective it makes the old seem sad Matthew 11 14 Jesus said about John the Baptist if you are willing to receive this talking about John the Baptist he said this is Elijah See, a lot of people wouldn't be willing to receive that 
jesus said if you are willing so your will and being willing has something to do with it you have to be willing to go to a place that others aren't worshiping him as god and walking with him by speaking in agreement with his word is a different place it's a different thing it's a place a lot of other people would not go and are not willing to go it has a different trajectory it will take you someplace else it is literally on a different timeline when you begin worshiping him a new timeline starts for you it's the start of a new timeline john 4 24 says god is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth well here we see he says worship him twice in that one short verse of scripture he said god is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him him who him god the spirit that the verse was talking about and they that do have a different trajectory they that worship him start a different timeline i am telling you i testify to the fact that the day i began worshiping the holy ghost as god and learning about him and learning how to walk with him in the earth by saying words my timeline changed my trajectory changed it's not the same that it used to be listen to me you must worship him if you're going to get where we need to go you must worship him he said it twice did he not and we have two things here number one you must worship him god is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit right because he is a spirit and in truth and we know the truth is the word of god and we know that we walk with him by speaking his truth speaking truth is just a continuation of your worshiping him worshiping him you worship him in spirit and in truth you're still worshiping him when you're speaking his truth they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in spirit and in truth in speaking truth so the and in speaking truth is part and a continuation of the worshiping him and it's part of the trajectory the and is an extension of worshiping him I worship you Holy Ghost and I speak the truth of your word both together are worship of him Luke 4 8 says thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shalt thou serve the speaking of his word is serving him speaking in agreement with him is an extension of worshiping him it extends the worship of him into your life into your timeline and takes you into his future this is where you want to go this is where you want to be this is your future worshiping him and speaking in agreement with his word now if the church or the preacher or the man of god or the ministry that you're connected with doesn't go here then neither can you you will be bound and held back and have opportunity for returning to the old i've seen it happen before now a prophet is sometimes called a seer meaning he'll see things usually well not always but sometimes he'll see something in the future and he'd prophesy about it so he'd be someone who sees the future and then 
gives warning and instruction about what to do about it right he would say you want to go here you want to go this way and if you receive that instruction you'd end up in the right place imagine if you will someone seeing the future and coming back and saying this is the way you want to go this is what you want to do well I've come back from the future and I'm telling you this is how you must go God is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him what you worship him in is your future God is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth the in truth is your future what you worship him in you worship him I worship you Holy Ghost and you speak his words which is a continuation of your worshiping him in spirit and in truth and what you worship him in those verses you worship him in that's your future am I getting this across you worship him in speaking his word speaking his verses his promises chapter and verse what's the next chapter in your life what's the next verse in your life what chapter are you moving into in the future in your life you worshiping him and speaking that verse is what you move into that's your future first timothy 6 17 says the living god who gives me richly all things to enjoy i worship you holy ghost you are god in the earth today you are the living god and i say you give me richly all things to enjoy my saying his verse is truth it's my extension of worshiping him i worship you holy ghost i say living god gives me richly all things to enjoy that's my future that's what i'm moving into are you here his words on my lips worships him his words on my lips worships him it's an extension of spirit and truth i hope i'm getting this across isaiah 48 17 says the lord my god teaches me to profit leads me by the way that i should go the lord my god holy ghost i worship you teaches me to profit leads me by the way that i should go the lord my god holy ghost i worship you teaches me to profit leads me by the way that i should go this is how we do it we worship him and speak his words we worship him and speak his words all you talk about is the holy ghost and words the holy ghost and words the holy ghost and words yes worship him and speak his words it's simple it's easy it's clean it's super effective it's futuristic it is your future yesterday is so yesterday keep moving on keep moving into the future your timeline has changed i am a holy ghost worshiper that's new when you walk forward into the new the new becomes you and you become it choose your timeline this day whom you will serve i worship you holy ghost and i speak in agreement with your word this is your future worshiping the holy ghost as god and speaking in agreement with his words the holy ghost says to you i am your future Holy Ghost, I thank you for blessing these people, opening their ears this evening, and their life shall never be the same. Their
timeline has changed says the Lord of Spirits and they shall enter the new and continue on with you and great things shall begin to manifest unto them as they continue worshiping the Holy Ghost and speaking in agreement with his word we thank you Holy Ghost that we are people of the future in Jesus name amen if you have a tither and offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost I worship you you are my future your wealth is my future and I begin entering into it by worshiping you and speaking in agreement with your word everything I give is multiplied back to me many fold good measure pressed down shaken together and running over in the same measure I meet it's measured back to me in Jesus name the Father is in Amen. heaven Jesus at his right hand Holy Ghost your God in the earth